KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got markets on the positive side right now. Dow Jones up 64 points, trading at 27,211. S&P is positive by nine, trading at 3,015. NASDAQ positive by 40 points, trading at 82.17. The Russell positive as well by three points, trading at 15.71. We'll start things off. We're gonna jump over to the VIX this morning. Market's a bit higher, quite a spike yesterday on the Fed. One quarter, a quarter point cut from the Fed for interest rates. You have the VIX spiking to 15.80. The VIX currently sitting 13.79 as fear is out of this market. Taking a look at the indices, we'll jump over. Started off with the Dow 30, currently trading 27,212, right up near the session highs we made just after the opening bell. NASDAQ 100 making highs as we speak, 79.60. You have Microsoft with a buyback, I believe it was 40 billion. They're almost 2% higher. Chip stocks trading higher as well. NASDAQ at session highs. S&P 500 trading at 3,018.21. We're about a point higher just after the opening bell. Crude oil had spiked to a high of $59.47, quite a run up from the overnight position of about $58, but we're right back down near that level, $58.34 in the price of November crude. And your gold contract trading at $15.08.31 was up at $15.12 on a couple occasions. Some other news out there, the market's still, of course, digesting. The rate cut from the Fed yesterday, what that's going to mean going forward. On the AT&T front, it was rumored that they were thinking about selling direct TV. That in light, interesting in light of the fact that they had Elliott Management, an activist investor fund coming in recently, buying a huge stake in AT&T. But now they're saying they're not focusing on the sale of direct TV. Direct TV they bought for a mammoth amount of money has underperformed dramatically, that's for sure. And jumping over, as I said, Microsoft with a buyback and to check out their shares. This morning, started trading higher yesterday. You see the acceleration from about 136.75, and we're now trading at 141.21 from that even intraday low yesterday, but even today up almost 2% at 141 from Microsoft. Stay tuned, folks. I'm going to be coming back at 10 o'clock with our man Basil Chapman filling in for Tom. Then we got Think or Swim, Fast Market with Kevin Hanks, Alex Coffey, and the team at 11. Then Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien back live this afternoon. Stay tuned, folks. Basil and I will be right back.